Happy Sunday fun day! <laughs> I'm outside. Just woke up. Please excuse the crazy hair and puffy eyes. But, um, I'm outside playing with my dog, drinking my C4 Extreme. He can do some cool tricks, so I'll show you. But, um, anyways, so drinking my C4 Extreme, getting hype because I'm gonna go on a run, and you need to be hype if you're gonna go on a run. Play with me. Okay, so drinking the pre workout, we're gonna go for a little run, Cash and I, because, um, basically how it works is Cash pulls me, caches me, makes it more fun. So we're probably just gonna do two miles. I don't have a lot of time. And um, what's been happening is I've actually, haven't been lifting super, super heavy lately. For the last like few weeks, I've been go lifting, but not really pushing it to the extreme, more so just going with weights that, um, are pretty normal for me so haven't been pushing it to failure just because gaining my muscles kind of a little break but then yesterday I did leg day and I finally went all out so um I'm gonna give my body a little rest I did shoulders yesterday too so I'm a little sore just go for a run today Sunday fun day I don't know if you guys know Sunday is the fun day. Sundays we uh, wake up early and we, a lot of times we'll go to church first which my church is awesome. It's called Impact Church and uh, just follow them. I'll put the link right here. Um, they just have a lot of great inspirational things and they're very hip modern church and their music is fantastic. I'm gonna go for my run and then we are going to go to breakfast because we always go to breakfast on Sunday. That's our tradition. See what it's all about. <laughs> all right, Cash is anxious. I need to drink my pre-workout and we're gonna go for a run. <laughs> you sure you wanna do this? You sure you wanna go for a run? You sure you do? You wanna change your mind? All right, let's do it then. <laughs> See, he's literally pulling me. <laughs> Just kind of getting loose. Um, and we are gonna run two miles. I am not the fastest runner, but I'm not super slow either. If I'm really pushing it, I'm gonna run a mile in six minutes and 45 seconds. But if I'm just kind of pacing it, just trying to get a good workout, I'll usually run like a 7.30, 8, just depending on how my body's feeling. So trying to wake up. Come on, C4, kick in. Oh, we are currently 0.75 miles down and dying. I think my pace is like 9.30. There's like three border collies over there right now and Cash wants to go make friends because oops it, sit um border collies are this really cool breed of dog um they're herding dogs and they have great personalities he's seriously like a human um so I feel like not all dogs understand him. He's like very, very smart. They're the smartest dogs. And so usually he makes best friends with other border collies. We're gonna get back to the run. We just wanna take a little break, make a video update. It's just really an excuse for me to take a breather. <laughs> so I'm gonna challenge myself to really pick it up here and try to run a 7.30 pace. I'm just gonna push it as hard as I can. Try to finish the mile and a quarter I have left 
at a better pace. You can change your mindset towards it. You know, I'm feeling tired. The pre-workouts are just now kicking in. I feel the itch. And now I'm going to rock it. I'm going to make sure I finish strong, even though the first half wasn't that good. So, here we go. You ready, Cash? You ready? Yeah, I think he's ready. All right, here we go. All right, we are done. This is my post run look. I've got watery eyes and I don't know if it's from the wind or if it's tears. I finished the run in 15 minutes. Um, I had an overall 7.30 pace, which is pretty good. I ended up running like 6.47 for a mile. Alright, now we're gonna get ready because it's time for breakfast. And breakfast is my favorite food. All right, we splurged a little bit. This is French toast covered in fruit and cream. And there is our country omelet with potatoes and a biscuit. Hi. Well, I wanted to continue showing you my Sunday fun day, which involves me and Cash cuddling on the couch. We had a really nice breakfast and we had to scarf it down because we didn't have a lot of time before church. And it was a blast and the music was good and the message was phenomenal. But I'll show you what I'm doing in the meantime because I have some news. I am moving. Right now I live in Scottsdale, Arizona, which I love Scottsdale, Arizona. It's really awesome here. The mountains are gorgeous. The weather is great. But in the summertime, it gets really really hot and there's not a lot of water around here so i'm a girl that grew up in michigan i just moved here to arizona in november so i grew up in michigan on the water and it was just really odd not being around water and i've always had the dream to live by the ocean and live on the west coast so yours truly is moving to san diego california yeah uh, we're really excited. We hear nothing but good things about San Diego. Literally every person we run into, whether it's someone we know or a stranger, always tells us how San Diego is amazing. And David has been there. I'm just excited to be living in California because I feel like I was meant to be there and it's close enough to LA where I'll be able to do a lot of work. So picky. Um, because it's, you're going to live there. And for me, I'm like, I got to have an ocean view. <laughs> and I think we're also going to do two bedrooms because right now I'll show you my messy apartment. This is our one bedroom apartment. And it is a little too small for my liking. I think we're going to upgrade to a two bedroom with some walk-in closets. And have a really great view, and we also want a good price, so we're picky, but we're going to find the right one, and we're going to go visit in a couple weeks, so I'll show you that adventure. So I'm going to get back to researching, and... I'm not supposed to get anything done when I have a cute dog like this. He just wants to play all the time. If you guys have any advice at all about San Diego... Like, where to live or any good apartments that you know of or any advice at all because I haven't been there yet and I'm researching. So, I need your guys' help. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Okay. Talk to you soon. <laughs>